Coming here gave me an opportunity to reinvent myself. I was, after 20 years in construction, I was tired of it. I wanted to do something else. I always felt there was something different, something else out there for me to do. So I started a uh, home inspection company at the time. And an interesting thing occurred. I figured, you know, I'm going to go out, I'm going to start marketing, networking. Chris, why wouldn't you hire me? I'm Louis Agudo. I know everything there is to know about a home. And a funny thing happened was I had to learn that, you know, I had to learn how to network. I never knew that what I was doing in New York was actually networking. But once I moved here, I saw, okay, a lot of those skills I had transcended here, and now I can, I can network. And I learned how to network. I learned how to do that. And in 2008, real estate market went down. Banking stopped. Everything went down, and I decided, okay, time to reinvent myself again. I've always been one to, if a door opens, to walk through it. No fear. You have to take the opportunity. And that's what my business partner, Randall, gave me that opportunity. So I've decided to walk through, and we both decided to walk through together and see where this takes us. Uh, and what's Randall's background? Rand Randall, we have a lot in common. We are both from construction fields. He was a plumber for over 15 years. So we both have that, 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 that history together. We also have the same philosophy of life. And it's important that when you work with people that you have the same philosophy of life. It's important to have teamwork. It's important to have people that you surround yourselves with who, who are good at a certain particular thing that they do. And it's important. And he has his strengths, and I have my strengths. Yeah, and you can't do it all yourself. You can't do it all yourself. And what we find is a lot of business owners believe they can do it all themselves. And sometimes it's better to spend that money, have someone else do it, so you can do what you're more effective at. And that's what we teach. We teach people that, you know, you have options. And a lot of people are, are, have their blinders on, I like to call it. Chris, you can sit here and tell me all day what I should be doing because you have no self-imposed parameters or barriers when you look at me. But, as, but myself, I have those on. So I need different people in my life who have that same philosophy of life, but who have also can, can talk to me in a way where I'll be accepting and I can go and grow as a person. Yeah, you have to have an open mind to do that, don't you? You, you really do have to have an open mind, but you have to take a chance. You have to take a chance. If you continue to do the same things you always have done, guess what? You will always have the same results. And, and a lot of people are, have a fear. And people can get through that fear. It's, 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 it's scary. Hey, I moved here from New York. I knew two people, my brother-in-law and my sister-in-law. That was it. And I started a business. But you have to put yourself out there. You know, if we're you have only, to believe. you have to believe because, you know, look at Thomas Edison, 10,000 times he tried to make a light bulb work and never did. And guess what? 10,001, it finally worked. Imagine if he would have stopped at 20, at 30 times, at 50 times. And the one thing that we have to remember is that all the mistakes that we make in life, all the errors that we make in life, those are, those are learning experiences. Those help us grow as individuals personally and professionally. But, but do you have to blunder into these same problems yourself, uh, even though other perhaps other business owners have already been there? Oh, uh, well, uh, say that again. Can you restate that? Uh, I didn't understand. Uh, the, uh, let's, let's say, uh, is are your only choice to go out and make your own mistakes, or can you take advantage of people that have been there before you and, and learn what to do in those circumstances? A absolutely. And the one thing that we have to do as as as, as humans is continually educate ourselves. You know, Chris, do you read every day? Absolutely. All right? You got to take at least 30 minutes, an hour of your day to read every day. We in Atlanta drive on average, God, maybe an hour, maybe more a day. When I'm on appointments, who knows where I'm driving? It that took me the, that long to get out of my driveway. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's the best time to educate yourself. There are so many motivational CDs, educational CDs that people can use. Every day you can educate yourself, whether it's personally or professionally, in a field that you choose. And a lot of people don't take advantage of that. Some of the questions I ask is, you know, how much TV do you watch a day? 
average American watches.